Hey guys. It's your girl, Everything's TV. So, I'm actually coming on here because I wanted to talk to you, um, <clears throat> you guys about something that I've been seeing and it's really bothering me. But I am <clears throat> drinking this white claw hard seltzer natural lemon. And it has about 5% alcohol, so it's not, it's going to give you a little buzz, but not like that. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody is fine. <clears throat> I've been feeling a little under the weather, that's why <clears throat> I didn't go into work today, because I, I just wasn't feeling good. And plus, um, I need to catch up on some of my, um, my college work. I know, I'm telling you, if you, if you're ever in college and you get back on classes, it is hard to catch back up because it's like the classes go so fast. But <clears throat> that's not even why I wanted to come on here. I wanted to talk about, I've been seeing a lot of women. It's, and it's mostly with, with, um. They have a problem with black men. And it's like every time a black man, you know, breaks up in his relationship, with, especially with his wife, you know, maybe they've been going together for 18 years and they break up. Why is it that I see that most black women call the black men gay? That is so stupid. And that's why a lot of you black women, that's why y'all ain't never going to have nobody. Because you sit up here and you call these men gay. You think a man going to want to be with you? You sitting around here calling men gay? You think somebody actually going to want to lay with you? Maybe for a minute. Because a real man likes a woman. He don't care. A lot of men, they don't care what you look like. You, you can look like you crawl from under a rock. I seen it myself. You can look like you crawl from under a rock. He will be with you for a minute and then you're gone. But why is it that you women are up here, you know, calling these men gay? Just because they didn't have a long lasting relationship with a black woman, you're going to call them gay? Like, stop it. Stop it. And a lot of times, y'all, I'm sorry, but I had to say it about y'all black women. I've seen it for myself. And a lot of y'all black women were like, oh, the black men, you know, they don't want us. They choose these women. But a lot of stuff that the black men say are true about you. And it, one of them is that, yeah, y'all do have attitudes because I've seen it before. If you ever see a black guy that walk up to uh, try to talk to a white girl, she don't cuss him out. Or nothing like that. She'll be like, oh, no, thank you. But it's flattering, though. Thank you so much. But you try to talk to a black woman. I've seen this. I've seen this for myself. Hey, man, how you doing? Why you got to get an attitude? Why you just can't say, hi, how you doing? And then if he start talking to you, but oh, I'm busy. I really got to go. Yeah, I'm flattered, but <laughs> I'm married or whatever. But you don't have to be like, and get an attitude. I see it all the time. And that's why a lot of times black men don't approach black women. Because you, I'm sorry, but some of y'all do have attitude. A lot of y'all always talk about, oh, this dude talked to me and this, that, and the third. But I just wasn't interested. And I told him to just go go on his way. And this, and that's why you're single. And just like Kevin Samuel said, I ain't going to lie. Y'all going to walk into that, uh, into the, um, like a restaurant and they're gonna be how many and you're gonna be like table or one and you know how sad that is to have to go in restaurants and eat by yourself because you don't have no man <clears throat> and with that attitude you probably ain't got no friends neither so i think we really need to stop that lady really need to stop that stop calling these men gay you sitting here calling um, men gay and stuff. That's slander. You know, s some people come back and sue you for slander. Because, especially if you ain't got no receipts that the man is gay. And you just going around saying that he's gay. Yeah, they can sue you. But 
women suck saying that men are gay just because that maybe that relationship just wasn't going to work out. Maybe it just wasn't going to work out in the beginning. You don't know what that man was going through with her, and you don't know what she was going through with him. Maybe it just wasn't going to work out. But to say that, you know, he's gay, you guys have been saying that for a very long time, and that's exactly why you don't have nobody, because no man in his right mind is going to lay down with a woman that's calling other men gay. They're just not going to do that, and you just making it bad on yourself. And putting negative stuff, negative stuff going to come back to you. And you sitting there talking about that the man is gay. You're going to have problems with men. You're going to discover that you're sleeping with a gay man. That's how it works. Karma is really, <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it, it can hit you really hard in, in a way that you never thought it could. When you do stuff like that, it comes back to you to hunt you in the worst way. But ladies, just stop saying that. Stop saying that because just because he 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 wasn't in this relationship, he couldn't make this relationship go any longer. And he didn't want to be in a relationship no more. He wants a divorce. Does not mean that that man is gay. Yes, you have a lot of men out here. They do feminine things. I see men walk around like this, but that don't mean they gay. Some of them is some of them is, is in touch with their with their feminine side, but that don't mean they gay. And y'all women out there calling these men gay. That's why you don't have nobody. Because you think everybody is gay, right? The majority of our men are gay. Okay, well, that's exactly what you're going to get. You're going to start, if that's what you put out in the universe, you're going to start meeting all these men that's gay. And you ain't never going to find nobody. So if you keep keep that up, keep that ride going, <laughs> you're going to keep um hitting into the wall every freaking time. But stop, stop being out here saying that these men are gay because a lot of them, they are not. Yeah, you do have some men that are gay, but there are men out here that are straight and love women. So just stop because you make yourself look stupid when you say it. And you make you make men just want to, don't even want to uh, deal with you, you kind of ladies that sit there and say that. Um, it could be jealousy, too. Like, a lot of women are just, you'd be surprised at how many women are <laughs> jealous of black men. I'm telling you, jealousy is, is, is a top score when it comes to um, this type of thing. But sitting there, you know, getting mad because that black man didn't want to be with the black woman anymore, and you're going to sit there and call the main guy. It's stupid. It's, it's, it make you look really uneducated. It make you look dumb. And you, most of these women are single. And like I told y'all ladies before, stop listening to these women that are single. They're single for a reason. Like a lot of these women out here, they're single for a freaking reason. I mean, if you meet a woman and you keep meeting all these women that's single and, you know, they always talk about, yeah, girl, I think he would gay. Yeah. Don't talk to them because they're just jealous. It's just jealousy. They're jealous because the man did not want to be with them no more. He moved on and they just couldn't get it in their head. And that's another thing that I want to talk to ladies about. Why is it? That every time a man cheat on you, you go and beat the woman up. You don't say nothing to him. And then you wonder why you get cheated on over and over again. Because the man is looking at it like, oh, oh, okay. So she, all she going to do is go beat the girl up that I mess with all. So I'm good. So I can continue to cheat. And you can, some women continue to do the same thing. He can cheat, cheat, cheat all day long. And who are you going to get mad at? You're going to get mad at the woman and beat her up when you should be beating his behind up and slapping him in the head and asking him why is he doing this. Like, y'all women need to get y'all priorities straight because your whole morals are totally messed up. You're out here fighting these women. You know, you're not saying anything to him. He's getting away with murder. He's continuing to cheat on you and you continue to stay and you got a lot of women that know that their man is cheating know that their man has stds and she still sleep with him you cannot be that desperate lady come on you can't be that desperate 
come on, you have to have some kind of respect for yourself, some kind of morals for yourself. If you're doing stuff like that, you can't be called a woman because real women don't do that. Real women ain't going to fight over no man for one thing. Real women is not going to act stupid like that. They just going to be like, look, you cheated. <clears throat> I'm out of here. I don't have nothing else to say to you. If y'all have kids, yeah, we can work something out with the kids. But other than that, I don't want to see you. I, I don't need to talk to you in any kind of way because you cheated and you weren't faithful to me. So I'm going to go my way. I hope that everything works out with you. You go your way. And it be like that. But to just continue to let a man cheat, cheat, cheat on you. And then on top of that, listen to this. And this is this is a main street, y'all. But the thing about it is that don't happen very often. Now I heard, you know, that shook the whole house. That's against the law to have it, you know, that loud. But I told you before, the laws in here in VA are whack. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of the laws they have, they, they don't really take in consideration. Um, you know, the, the laws are just here basically for decoration because nobody upholds the law here. You know, the only law they really uphold here is, you know, you know, if you kidnap somebody or like criminal stuff. But if it's just like, you know, music or, or annoyance like that, they don't care about it. They, they really don't do anything about that but like i said i don't know why i keep getting these you know homes on these main streets but i believe truly that god is gonna bless me and my husband with a nice house where it's all from everybody it's gonna be peaceful and you never know where it's gonna be at i don't know i might move to england you never know <laughs> because that stuff over there is beautiful but I know that I know what I want for, you know, me and my husband. And I know it's going to happen because I already put out in the universe. And I'm already on my way to a new, you know, successful career that's going to make me a lot, a lot of money, honey. So, yeah. So back to what I was saying. Um, Yeah, y'all ladies just got to get it together. And it just ain't. Uh, the reason I'm saying it is because I'm seeing a lot of these women calling these uh, men gay. And then they wonder why they turn around and they see all these gay men. Because if you keep saying it and keep saying it and keep saying it, believe me, you can turn a man that way. He, he, he'll start to, he'll start to um, you know, like look at himself and be like, am I gay? Like she keep calling me gay. Like, He'll start getting feelings and stuff. That's why you women, you got to be careful about what you say. And a lot of these women that be like, oh, I found out my man was gay. You probably were the ones that was calling him gay all the time. Saying, oh, you gay. You this, you. That's why you gay. I hear women all the time when they get in an argument. That's why you gay. That's why you just mad because you can't get nobody else. And they be thinking that like, man, maybe I am gay. But you know what I'm saying? Just stop it because you don't know how much damage you do, especially when you don't have no proof that a man is gay. And you sitting there, you know, talking, spreading all these rumors. And and the man, he might not really be gay, but you better be careful what you say on this social media, girls, because, um, yeah, they can sue your behind, too. And a lot of YouTubers, y'all don't have money to go to court with none of them big, you know, big time celebrities. So you got to be really careful. Now, if you want them big top ce celebrity YouTuber, then that's different. Then you got money to go to court with these people. But if you just a small YouTuber and you ain't get money like that and you spread rumors and stuff, you got to be really careful because a lot of these celebrities, they're not playing no more. And they are, you know, they're, they're starting to sue YouTubers and... <laughs> They're not playing no more. So you got to be really careful what you say on the YouTube streets. So, yeah, that's all I had to say. Like, ladies, just get your priorities together. You know, stop fighting over these men. 
If you find out they cheat, leave. If you want to work it out, you can give him a second chance. Because I know y'all like, well, uh, y'all always look up to celebrities to see what they doing. Oh, well, that celebrity, she was cheating on and she stayed. Why don't you focus on yourself and what you want to do? Because a lot of those celebrities, I mean, come on. If you were a celebrity dude, like, if you were a celebrity dude, and he has all this money, like, he's a billionaire, a lot of women, they not going to walk away from that because they have too much to lose. But if you're with a regular person, a loser man, you don't really have nothing to lose. So walking away, you can be like, bye, you're not losing anything. But a lot of those celebrity women, they stay because they have too much to lose. They have kids. They have businesses, partnerships that they don't want to just walk away and lose all that. That's why a lot of them, they separate. When a woman is separated from her husband, she still has, she still um, has the rights to most of all his stuff. That's why if you ever meet a man and he said, oh, I'm separated, man, just move on. Because she already got all his stuff. You want a man that's divorced, not separated. Don't let him talk to you that, oh, separate, I'm separate. No, you got to be divorced, honey, because she still has, she still has your assets. She still, she still can dabble in your assets. She still can get money from you. You got to still have a partnership. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't let don't let them men, you know, lie to you. Cause a lot of men they will lie. They they will be like, Yeah, I'm separated, but this, that, and the third. But this, that, and the third, I'm separated and you don't have to worry about anything. Yes, I do. I have to worry about her dipping and dabbing in our money. That's what I have to worry about. Oh, I read up on it because I was I was saying like what's the difference from separation? And divorce. The separation is that she's still going to want his money and she's still going to need his support until she can figure it out on her own until she's she's able to support herself. So basically, that's kind of like an alimony separation right there. That she's still going to be able to um, have uh, access to his uh, money and things like that. You never want to date no man is separated. Don't do it. <laughs> you, I'm telling you, you'll be setting yourself up for the long haul of destruction, depression, and everything else that goes along with it. So guys, that's all I wanted to say. Ladies, please stop calling these men gay <laughs> because just because you know, the relationship with them and that woman did not work out does not mean that he's gay. He wants to be with men. Stop saying that. And women, stop fighting over these men. If he if he cheated, you know what I'm saying. Just move on. If you got if you have something to lose with him and you want to give it another try, you can. But if he's some broke, busted, disgusted man and and you really ain't get nothing out of him anyway, move on and find somebody else. Find somebody else. Upgrade. Stop downgrading. Stop. Don't settle at all. I know a lot of women talk about, well, sometimes we got to settle. No, you don't. You do not have to settle for dust. Okay? Upgrade like Beyonce said. So, guys, I know if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification. You can know each and every time I upload a new video. I love you guys. Always thinking about you until next time. It is your girl, Everything's TV, and I will see you guys in another one. Peace.